and I'm gonna share five tips to help you pick out outfits that go together as a family and look seamless and beautiful, the perfect color schemes, all of that. I'm sharing it all in this video. We straight as a narrow The first tip I have to share with you is pick your outfit first. I know the temptation can be to pick out your baby girl's outfit or your little boy's outfit, but pick out the outfit you are gonna feel beautiful and confident in. You are the one probably scheduling the pictures. You are the one gonna print out the pictures. You are the one that's probably gonna hang the pictures on the wall and cherish the photos the most. I would say neutral colors are best. And I would steer clear of any patterns for anyone except for maybe one person and have very minimal pattern. And so maybe that person that has slight pattern is you or your daughter. And for you, you could have a little bit of pattern, but not very much, have very neutral colors that are gonna be easy to blend. I'll show you what I mean, but also, Find something you feel confident in, you feel beautiful in. Maybe find something that has a little bit of flow to it. That's gonna add some character to the photo. Clothing with movement is going to add character to your photos. And it's gonna add that little swoosh, it's gonna add that little dance in the photo that's gonna be really beautiful and add character. So think about that when you're picking out maybe a dress that's nice and flowy or something like that with some movement. The second thing I would say is for guys, pick out something that is very plain and very neutral. So for guys, this might be like a Henley shirt, something very, very simple, maybe just like a collared shirt with some nice neutral colors. That's what I dressed my husband in. I'm gonna show you this photo right here that I have of my husband. You can see that he has on a light colored shirt with a collar and my little boy has on a light colored top and I just went to Target for the boys and picked out solid color tops which is actually a little bit hard to find. Steer away from anything with logos or patterns or graphics or things like that that are really gonna date the photo. You just want nice and neutral. You wanna remember the people in the pictures more than the clothes in the pictures. So keeping the boys nice and neutral will give you a little bit of wiggle room for you and your little girls. The third thing I would say is make some Pinterest boards, some outfit colors you like. I'll put together a Pinterest board and link it down below for you that you can go and look. But here are some of my ideas right here. And what you're going to notice is that some photographers have this like golden warm feel to their pictures and some have a light and airy editing style. So kind of notice what your photographer edits in, what kind of style she edits in, because the light and airy editing style, I I think looks better with lots of blues and lots of whites and lots of tans. I noticed that the warm editing style I think looks really rich with fall colors. So those boards are really, really helpful. One, to help you figure out maybe like a color scheme, a color style that you want. And the other reason I feel like those boards are really helpful and maybe you wanna consider printing out some of those pictures to take with you is that sometimes I feel like posing is really hard. So maybe even getting an idea of how you wanna pose your family. Now I get it, that might step on some photographer's toes. They may not like that. I think just for me, I feel like, kind of like Anchorman, like what do I do with my hands? Like I do not really know how to pose or move. So I really love when the photographer gives me a lot of cues and gives us a lot of cues on what to do. And I think a good photographer will do that. But just for me personally, it kind of helps me get in my head what I'm trying to do with my body. So if I show the picture to the photographer, like totally do whatever you want. But if you want for me to do one of these poses, it helps me to have the body awareness to like see that pose so I can do that pose. Okay, I think I'm on number four. The tip that I have for you is if the shoes don't all match for the kids, so like one shoe plays I just love, but it's kind of hard to get boots from them, is called Adelisa and Co. I think I'm saying that right. I love getting boots and little kids shoes from them. They're like leather boots. I've even got some for my husband that I just love. But if you are having a tough time getting your kids shoes to match, consider them just going barefoot. 
Um, I feel like that looks a lot better than mismatched shoes. I know my boys, honestly, they wear Nike shoes all the time. And so um, I had ordered them boots for this one shoot, but they didn't come in in time. But my little girl had little brown shoes. So she has on shoes, but my boys are barefoot. And I feel like it looks better and it looks fine this way. Um, it looks a lot better than them having like Nike shoes and kind of throwing off the look. So if you don't have great shoes, consider just going barefoot. I feel like that looks a lot better than mismatched shoes. Okay, the fifth tip I have is to add accessories for fun. Hats can add a lot of character. Maybe bringing like a really pretty blanket that you guys could sit on or a picnic basket, some props or things like that. Think about some props, think about some accessories. Just make sure that if you're gonna wear a hat, you don't feel goofy. Like that's not gonna help you feel confident, but maybe just some simple accessories or some props will add a lot to your pictures. So think about that. Okay, so my bonus tips that I'm going to share are bring some kids snacks that are not messy, so maybe some gummies or something like that. Explain to your kids what you're about to do. Maybe show them some pictures off Pinterest and say, hey, this is what we're about to go do. Make sure that you schedule at a time where they're well rested, like maybe not in the middle of nap time and um, have something fun that you're gonna go do after. I know bribery isn't really the best parenting strategy, but just having something that, you know, it's hard for them to sit still. So I feel like if everybody's in a really good mood and you have something like ice cream, like we're gonna go take these pictures, it's gonna be really fun. If you bring an awesome, fun attitude to the family photo shoot, that's gonna help a lot. If you're just like, listen right now, and you're getting really, really tense, those aren't the kind of pictures that you're gonna want for your family anyways. Keeping the, the feeling of the photo shoot nice and fun. Um, if your photographer doesn't have some music, maybe put on Baby Shark or some fun music to just keep it nice and light, keep the atmosphere fun. Be playful with your kids, and those are gonna be sweet pictures anyways to capture your relationship that you have instead of something that is really curated. Try to have something where it feels like fun for you and your kids just to capture the warmth of your relationship because that's really what you want on your walls. That's really what you want to remember anyways. It's just the sweetness and the innocence and just how little they are and just um, the beauty of your family. So. I hope all of these tips are super helpful for you and I hope that you'll hit subscribe and I'll see you again in the next video.